Okay, we got this one honed out now. See how it fits on there like it's supposed to. Nice and free. So the way you do this, you go in one bushing. There's two bushings here, one on this side here, one on that side over there. So the way you check your clearance is you put on one bushing. And with the overhang, you see how much clearance you got. You want to have a little bit of clearance, see, just a little bit. Check both sides to make sure they're both there. And that's what you want for clearance. When you're all together, you can't really feel that. You just have a lot to feel it. So you can just hear it. Now I'm pushing all the way against the inside so it doesn't move back and forth. Then you go up and down with it, twist it. You hear it. That's what you want to hear. Just a little bit of clearance. If you make them too tight, they might stick. All right, let's see if this thing fits now. Oh, and then right down. See, this one comes out when you unscrew it, it's reverse, so you're going to go backwards to make it stay put. Screw this turn too, it's too hard to turn it. See how the whole shaft moves around on it because it's loose in the shaft here. See, it's loose in here because it's undersized. V twin quality. Now, why did they make this loose? I don't know, but they didn't. All right, let's see if we figure out how much backlash we got in the gear on this one. So we'll just hold it straight down. A little more clearance than the stock gear had. No tight spot going in out because this is V-twin quality. And this gear here is looser than the Harley gear is. Alright, that seems to be working. Okay, reverse rotation. Now I gotta find out why this thing's so tight in here. It is definitely tight. Okay, last thing I do is make sure this bushing's not sticking up on the height a little bit, which it feels like it probably is. <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the way. So break the titty off of it. Get this stuff away. I found a missing screw that took off when I pulled my rag up. It was a cutoff screw out of something. I don't know where it came from. The rag must have caught it down here and all the junk down here, I guess. All right, so I'm gonna run a file across here and see if there's a high spot in here. To be right across this surface right here. Now, if we take our strays and put it on here, you should be able to see a high spot if it is. You can see it's got just a little bit in there like that. So we know it's got a high spot. Okay, so we gotta file that down just a little bit. Go ahead and grab our files we got right for that reason. There's a fine one. Where's my other one at? Oop, there it is down here. There's my red mark. There's my red mark. There's a little coarser one. There's my coarser one. Red mark. Okay, red mark means that's up. Okay, we don't want to have this getting damaged. I'm going to put this one back. This is my expensive caliber. Double carbide. That means you put double hundred dollar bills out when you buy it. It's probably a six, seven hundred dollar caliper, I bet. I don't remember what I paid for it. Okay, so I'm going to take our file and run it across the gap in the bush in here and knock off this high spot. Five going back and forth in different areas so you don't get one spot chewed up. Let's 
see how the surface is cutting right there only. Put it up here and maybe I'll see better, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. A little closer. Pushing right here, I want to cut, and that over here, I don't want to cut. Just digging a little bit on that corner right there, which I don't particularly want to do. It's getting pretty flat through there now. File's not moving around like it was. You hear how it's not cutting anymore. You also feel you don't feel it cutting either. Okay. I'm going to pull out the fine file just in case I catch anything at all, which probably won't. But it's pretty good. Sharp edge off right there. Like that. that. One more time. There you go. Yep. I twisted my finger doing that. The finger ain't moving when I go like that. It sticks. It twists the joint in there. Yeah, makes it hurt. Don't do that. It's not very hard. Good way to twist your finger off. All right, that looks nice and clean now. So there's what it all looks like. Should be good. There's our distributor going in there. And somewhere we got to find a screw to go in there and check the clamp. See if it's going to work. Here's the clamp. I have no idea where we got. A bolt for putting any in with. My guess it probably didn't come with one. So that's a quarter 24 bolt. I have to go find one. Yeah. That doesn't work for a mock up. Quarter 24 thread. We gotta see if this is gonna fit now. Okay, so this is the right thread for going in here. The problem is the height. Yeah, that's a problem. What we're gonna do is take that out. Make sure that goes in there, it does. Good. Jackpot. Okay, we're gonna put this on here like this. We gotta see if we think it's gonna fit or not in there. Okay, it fits around that part good. But I don't know if it's gonna fit the rest of the way. The problem is the bolt's too tall to go in there, so have to do it the hard way. Okay, I guess drop it in there. We gotta pull it up a little bit. Get the bolt started. I think there's too much height. Yeah, not enough height. There's not enough room between this distance and and here to get the bolt in there, see. So just not quite enough room. It seems like it wants to start. Just quite can't get the angle. It's like five degrees more it would go, but oop, oop, did I get it? Maybe. Oop, oop, oop. I think I got it. Yep, I did. 
good. It is tight in there. No wiggle room there. Be a lot easier if I had to write hardware, but we got what we got for mock up. Wrench. Coming at an angle a little bit. So. You can definitely see how it's got a gap on the back side there and it's tight over here. And I'm tightening it down, it's pulling it at an angle. Eventually, it does make it all the way down, but it's definitely binding. Yeah, everything springs back up as I undo it. Okay, so yeah, how much of that is available clearance? Appears to have enough clearance. Yeah, okay, it has clearance in there. It's just how it's pushing on this, and everything is kind of biting each other a little bit. You can see how it goes down, but it's kind of not happy about it, but it does go all the way down. Oh, it's got an O-ring in there too, that's right. I'm compressing the O-ring, I forget. I forgot about that. Yeah, let's go in here. Turning. Definitely got drag in there though, but just a lot of drag in that distributor. Okay, appears to be good. Goes in out with no problem. It's got a little bit of clearance right there in the gear teeth. Yep, it's got about that much clearance, so about 30 thou. 15 here and 15 more. Probably more than that, probably 20 extra. A little bit of backlash in the teeth. That'll work. Okay. I think we got that handled. Alright, so now the distributor needs to come apart and make sure the shaft in there is good, but we'll we'll do that bridge later. The next thing we gotta do on this is we gotta do some motor mount issues. <clears throat> Customer said the motor mounts were the wrong position, he thinks. When I put the case together, I got them flat, but he thinks the angles, the offsets are off, so. He's gonna give me the number for how much offset we got between the top, the front and the back. And I'll recut this thing. So I gotta flip this, spin this thing around and figure out what that's gonna be. So that'll be the next thing I get to do again, I guess. And the last thing is to bore the breather out hole for the oversized breather, which is, will be done later. All right, well for now, that stripper fits in there. And if you didn't want to use this, the stock one fits in there too because I made sure they would fit also. So there you go. All fixed. So why didn't they make that correctly when they made it the first time? <clears throat> and once again, the brand of the cases, in case nobody remembers who it is, is right down there. There's a name. See that name under there? That tells you who made them. Now they claim they didn't make them, but yeah, I don't know. Those are the same stamps I've always seen over there. So, all I know is they screwed this set of cases up badly. But they're going to be good. They're getting a lot better now. They're actually usable now. So, yeah, I've got a couple more things to do on it, and then we'll put this thing together. All right, that's it for now.